Welcome to part two of our WebEx calling video series. In our previous video, we took a look at the overview and supported endpoints of WebEx calling. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the WebEx calling application. The app is for Mac, PC, and mobile devices. We will be viewing the Mac experience today. Before we dive in, a couple key takeaways. We want to note the simple, intuitive interface of the app, the calling capabilities, and the quick and easy access to call settings. When you scroll down, this is the app icon. It has a theme that's consistent with the rest of the WebEx brand, being WebEx Teams and Meetings. When we open the app, we can already see that simple interface. We can see contacts, recent calls and voicemail, a dial pad, and settings. Whenever we open a contact, we can see their information as well as our calling capabilities. We can make an audio call, a video call, or call from another device. Whenever we select this option, all of your associated endpoints will ring and you select which one to use for the call by answering the phone. As soon as you answer, the call will get put through. Let's make a quick test call. Hello, this is Seamus. Hey Seamus, how's it going? I'm doing great, Fred, how are you? Doing well, man, doing well. Seamus, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Awesome, awesome. Would you mind telling the viewers what device you're speaking on? I'm speaking to you on a Cisco 8845 video phone. Awesome. Coming through loud and clear. Appreciate your time, man. While Seamus is on the line, I want to go ahead and take a moment to look at the in-call controls. So whenever we select this icon, we can see that we can transfer, conference, park the call. We can pull up the dial pad. I'm using a Cisco headset. You can switch from the internal speakers and mic on your laptop to your headset automatically. You can also change the in-call volume. We can put the call on hold. We can turn off our video. We can also mute the line. Everything that you would expect from a, a typical endpoint. Thank you, Seamus. You're welcome, Fred. Have a great day. You too, man. Now that we've seen how the app behaves in a call, I believe it's important to note that with this being a cloud solution, the features are designed to provide optimal convenience for end users. The ability to manage settings without being connected to the corporate network is one example of these conveniences. Say your end user is sick or maybe there's some bad weather, they will be able to manage things like their call forward and voicemail settings from the app without having to leave home. With that being said, let's look at the settings. We have some general settings, language, notifications, and accessibility. We can optimize our audio and video experience by selecting our input and output devices. I will mention that Cisco headsets are designed to provide the optimal calling experience for WebEx calling. Incoming calls, we can set do not disturb, call forwarding and simultaneous ring. Outgoing calls, we can set to block your caller ID if you want to. We have some voicemail settings. We also have some settings for extensions if you have any and advanced settings. I believe that wraps it up for the WebEx calling app. We've seen the simple intuitive interface, its calling capabilities, and quick and easy access to call settings. In addition, I would like to mention that you can also initiate calls through the WebEx Teams app down here. That's all for today. Thank you guys for joining. See you for part three, which is going to be a quick overview of Control Hub. Thank you.